Well, this will be fun. A little game about curing zombie infection by building up a little base, hiring cute, adorable little scientist guys, and then having some storage area or something. I hear a helicopter arriving, and by helicopter, it's more like a quad drone. Hey, little fella, how are you today? Hopefully nobody gets stuck in the moose lab. What's the moose lab? Multi-purpose observation. It's like a Canadian lab. Yep, this is it's for moose. We're gonna get our maple syrup pretty soon. All right, we should probably build a resource camp because the game's like, hey, build a resource camp. And maybe a hauling post next to it so we can haul the things that the resource camp gets. We're excited to see all your progress. The lumber you gather should work well with our crafting boxes. Okay, we have to we have to do that. I guess we'll just go ahead and click on this. Grab the harvesting thing, make him go away. And then harvest some trees. Beautiful. Also want to harvest these berries because we need them for scientific research in the future. The game's also like, hey, we should build a kitchen and dining room table. Which is weird. And there's wild vegetables. How oh, cool. Those are carrots, if you were wondering. So, speaking of kitchens, let's go find a kitchen. And we're going to just, I guess, make a little room here and make it for kitchens. Actually, I want to see how big the dining room table is. Uh, it's three by five. So, if I make it about that big, confirm it. And then I can put a door in the middle. And if I did my brain correctly, I should be able to put in two. Oh, yes, I got the smarts today. We're gonna build the best kitchen ever with rainbows and flowers inside of it. Game's also like, hey, you need to build a bedroom. So we'll do that on the other side, a little bedroom like such as. We'll just make this one slightly larger because I want to. We'll also slap a door somewhere in here after I put in all of the beds that we need. So if I did my math properly, yeah, that should work. We'll rotate that around, put you there and there. And then we'll have the beds all fitting together nicely. And then we'll save this area over on the edge for a nice little sit down relaxation area. And now it shouldn't matter where we stick the door. So I'll just put it in right here. And now we make time go wee. Everything will be faster. They'll build up everything. The kitchen's been created. And they're also gathering logs, which is interesting because they just throw the sticks right on the ground and then the hauler picks it up and brings it to where it needs it. Kind of unique for a uh, crafting based building survival game. Now I'm wondering what happens to these trees once the building is completed. Um, they're okay still. Oh, <laughs> never mind. They just disappeared. Oh, and the beds are being created too. That's nice. Why are there ropes on the beds? It's a strange thing to be in a bedroom. Ooh, so lab your, surround your lab with fences. I can do that. Oh, that's cool. We have little lamps, but no electricity. Maybe we do have electricity. Is this a little power plant too? It must be because there's a solar panel and batteries and a little beaver eating a thing. So if we have to build a wooden fence, let's just do that real quick. We'll start over here. Bring that as far this way as I can. Don't want to delete too many resources. I do want some to be inside of our fence too, so that should be cool. We can put in some wooden fence gates. There's an old pickup truck too. Wow. We have metal circuits and cold snow in a bag. I think I might have forgot to mention that this is a demo of the game. It's coming out next week. If you guys want to play it, you can do that. There's a link in the video description. So things like text might not be in the game. And also you can't really delete walls yet for some reason. But that's what demos are for, right? What is that noise? Sounds like something in my left ear is getting excited. Ooh, what is this thing? And it looks like the tunnel maybe where the zombies come at us. They get so sleepy when they work hard all day. They even fall asleep with their glasses on. That's a little weird. And why does every scientist have glasses? Are you calling, are you calling me a scientist? Because I wear glasses? Oh, this guy doesn't. He's just bright eyed and bushy tailed up here at midnight, just strolling around carrying things. And with that, the wall is completed. Ooh, build a science room and generate research points. I can do that. I like research. Let's put it right here. Okay, science room. We have a door, we have science, and then how big is the research table? It looks like three by two. So if I build a wall, much like such as, and we'll slap a door, Never mind. As I was saying, we'll build a science room, select it, and then build a door. We'll put that right here. And then we could put some sciencey things in it. I don't know. I feel like two might be enough. I need some decorations. Can I put decorations in here? I can't. There's no decorations and there's literally nothing inside the skill training room. <laughs> That's funny. Ooh, build a bellow breezer, produce gel packs, build a snowball dispenser, and power poles to supply them with electricity. Okay, we could do that. Now we have to go into the science area here and we actually have to get the bellow breezer. It requires 60 science points. So eventually they'll take the glow berries inside and they'll look at them and they'll be like, hmm, maybe I should research this. We'll assign this human to it. There you go, human. Give me science points. And I'll assign another human to this one. Very well done, my friends. Give me all the science points in the world. We have seven. 
seven sciences. So this little bellow breezer is a thing that creates snowballs, I'm guessing. Did it, did it get researched? It did, because we now have nothing. So I should be able to build one, and I might as well put that, I don't know, right over here. This is kind of <laughs> unique, too. They just kind of throw the things in, and then when they need a resource, they come to the crafting table to grab it. Ah, Bellow Breezer's been completed. Hello, Humby, or human. There's, like, different phases of humans that can go through this, so that's kind of cool. Now we're building snowballs. Okay. There's also something called a meat grower. Seems a little bit weird, but we'll get the snowball dispenser and I'm guessing that's in defense. Yes, it is. Ooh, look at that. I don't know. Let's put that right here in the corner. Ooh, now we get to build a treatment chamber to freeze a zombie. So I'm guessing that's something I probably have to build in here. There it is. A hundred science points. Oh, this thing needs power too. You know what? We don't need anyone working there right now. I hope. Interesting. It looks like the power can go just a little ways. Okay, so if I build two of these, it should be enough. Nice. So it should have power now. Cool. Are we going to get zombies tonight? Uh-oh. I hear noises again. Does that mean zombies are coming? We don't have very much threat, so probably not. But it is a tutorial, and they'll be like, yeah, we need zombies in tutorials. I also want to get rid of this billboard because it made fun of my mother. Oh, hot dang. 100 science points. So freezing treatment center. I like that. I wonder where that's gonna be hiding under here. I found it, treatment center. This thing might be pretty big. I'm feeling like it might need to be next to this thing. Uh-oh, it uh, it doesn't wanna get placed anywhere. Does it need to be in a building? It might need to be in a building. Hmm, maybe in a science room. And a pretty big one at that, actually. I don't know, let's make it seven by seven and call it good. And then I should be able to place this inside? Okay, good. Oh, it fits, beautiful. It's also very large. I could just put research tables in here too. Why don't I do that? Then I can just repurpose this room eventually. Oh boy, it must have been created. Now I can build a snowball dispenser, move it around, and then determine its new location. Why? Why do I need to move you? Also, my new thingy has no power. Oh, what was that noise? And that has no power. I need to power my base. Look at these beavers. They're just dropping trees literally everywhere around here. It's a little weird. Oh, the, the snowball science room treatment guy is working too. That's awesome. <laughs> There's just so many sticks on the ground. Oh, and hot dang, they we're actually gonna get an upcoming zombie attack. I don't know where it's gonna come from, but I'm also gonna need to get a uh, meat grower and a feeding pile. That sounds terrifying. I don't like that at all. So let's try to delete these two stations. No, I don't want three. I just wanna delete this. I don't wanna delete 20, I wanna delete you. Sure. You know what, on second thought, we'll just delete everything. Yeah, there goes that room. We didn't need you anyway. You guys are gonna come over here. Stop working! Hot dang, come over here and work instead. We might only need one of you. So we'll just put one human on. I also feel like it might be a good idea to build up another snowball dispenser sunbar, like maybe right there. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay, we have zombies coming in. They're coming in fast, hot dang, why are you so fast? Here, let's uh, let's put people here. Here we go. People, people, humans, get to work. This one's not gonna work, you're fired. Go work at the other one. Oh no, we need to move this. Move it over here. Oh, this is so bad. Actually, cancel that. Can I cancel that? Cancel. Oh, no, they're moving it. We need power over here. Quick. Power pull. This way. Power it. Get him, snowballs. Oh, I hit one. <laughs> I hit one. He's getting frozen. Ha <laughs> ha. Get frozen junk. Oh, no. Did they break in? I don't like it when I got zombies in my base. Quick. Somebody work here. Work here. Stop working here. Oh, this is so bad. Stop working here. Stop working here. Get into the firing towers. Oh, I froze one. <laughs> Why are you running out, buddy? Thaddeus, what are you doing? Why do you run to the middle of the zombie group? They're gonna eat your kidney. Oh, and of course that's out of the range. Really? I think I figured this out now though. They attack the gates. I don't know why my brain didn't think of that earlier, but whatever. Oh, and now they run away because it's daytime. <laughs> Good. Actually, do they die in the sunlight? I hope they do. That one's fast. Okay, so I have a zombie. We're gonna make this highest priority and I'm gonna queue it up. We have somebody in treatment. Get the zombie. Oh, this is great. <laughs> Come on over here. Come on over. Why is there a moose sign there? This game really is Canadian. Oh, he looks so grumpy inside of his little cage. Why is he so grumpy? Oh, I better build the meat grower and stuff. Okay, there's the feeding pile. I kind of want to like make up a secondary cage for them outside. I'm a little bit scared of what they'll become. Meat grower into the kitchen. All right, we can get rid of that dining room table. We don't need you. And I'm gonna fire everyone that's working at these things because we literally don't need anyone right now. And then we'll shove in a meat grower <laughs> inside of here. 
Okay, that's actually a pretty big building. And I guess they need a feeding pile, which is really disgusting sounding, but they love it. So, sure. Just a pile of meat outside. We're growing meat inside of a vat. <laughs> it's happening. Oh, oh, there's a meat chunk. We have eyeballs in a drawer. That's literally a steak that looks pretty tasty, actually. It just got built. Okay, we need to build the leg press, too. So we'll do a skill training room. Probably don't need it too big. I'm just going to make it big enough. Three by five, four by five. Sure. We'll put that door right here. And then a couple of these, maybe. Oh, wow, that's way bigger than I needed. Oh, you're ready for your first Humbies. Congratulations. Remember to always have enough meat and storage. If they come hungry, they will eat people. Hmm. Select a treatment. I already did that. Thank you. Well, this is interesting. Looks like we're going to get another wave of zombies. Let's, uh, oh, it's not a good sound. Let's queue up our people. Yeah, they're going to defend the walls this time. Things are going to go right. Oh, yeah, there's lots of zombies coming in. I see three of them. Oh, that one's already leaving. Oh, he's coming back. Oh, there's coming from multiple directions. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. We got snowballs for days. Yes, fire the snowballs. Woo, -hoo! we hit one. It's freezing them. <laughs> That's awesome. Freeze this one too. That'll be funny, I promise. Oh no, they're attacking the only gate that I don't have defended. That's okay. This guy's about to be frozen. Come on, attack it. Yes, we froze one. <laughs> we froze another one. That's perfect. They really like this gate over here though. I don't know why. Come on, freeze him. Freeze him. Freeze him hard. Freeze him so good right now. Yes, <laughs> we froze another one. Oh no, we're coming around again. Loading up more snowballs. Freezing another zombie. We're down to seven snowballs or gel packs. Sorry. Oh, come on. Get this one frozen before daytime. Get it frozen before daytime. Yes. Oh, hey, it's finally working. You become angry. Okay, I know that. This one got buggy. I think it's because they couldn't walk to that location. We have a little humby. Oh, look at him. What's it doing? It's carrying things. <laughs> Yay. Uh oh. Oh, we're picking carrots. That's good because everyone's about to die from lack of food poisoning. Okay, let's queue up another guy. Boop. Maybe a couple more. And then I think I can disable the humans from the resource camps and only have the Humbies go. Yes, it's working. Reprogram his brain. That's awesome. <laughs> I love that. Oh, shoot. We got another zombie attack. All right, I'm just going to... Oh, it can be either one. Okay, that's fine. Uh-huh. And then that one. And then we'll enable that one. And then we don't have one here, but I can let anyone go there. All right, let's disable this thing real quick. We don't need anyone working here. Uh, the hauling post, we can take these jobs off. Oh no. Okay, okay, good, okay, good, okay, good. We got snowball attack, excellent. Nobody's working at this one, because I haven't told them to. Oh, that one almost got froze, that's too bad. Hummy, come back. <laughs> yes, freeze it, freeze this one, yes. Keep it frozen, excellent. Ollie Hausla is his name. Yes, we froze one over here. We're about to freeze this one. Come on, how many snowballs? I only have 17 gel packs left. Beautiful news. It looks like the zombies have been routed, except for this one. He's a little bit lost. He's like, I'm just gonna sit right here because it's cold and I don't like snowballs to my face. Oh, never mind. You do like snowballs to your face. No, don't leave. Fine, I don't care. Yes, yes. Another one will be cured in just a second. He's so mad right now. They're melting. <laughs> This guy's melting. Oh, no. There's not much ice left on him. I'm guessing when they fully melt, they just run away. Oh, no. <laughs> it's running away. Get the other one. Yes. Put it in a cart and drive it home. We might be able to capture this one and this one. And we don't talk about him. Oh, we barely rescued that fella. Welcome to the group. Ooh. Build a treatment chamber, too. Build a toy oven. Um, uh, They need to play. That's, that's a little weird. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're beating up my zombies. They're getting de-zombified. That's not good. <laughs> Shoot, man. Did all that hard work to get the zombies, and now this one's just super grumpy. He's like, I'm going to run outside and get turned into a zombie again. Maybe I should make it so people can't go outside the doors. Yeah, can I do that? I just don't want people outside the doors. Stop. Nobody shall access the doors. You must be inside.com. Did you like my song? Oh, you know what? That one just decided to walk through because people aren't. <laughs> oh, this one's going mad. Oh, no. Oh, I think he just ate somebody. This is bad. This is the worst day ever. Oh, no. <laughs> They're eating my, my zombies. Oh, no. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when uh, you play with the zombies. Your base turns zombified. Well, that sucks. Anyway, my friends, that'll do it for this video of Zombie Cure Lab. Pretty neat game. Still a little bit rough around the edges, but uh, I can see this one being quite fun when it's ready. 
in the near future. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. And I'd like to thank all of my patrons and YouTube members, including Auto Dave, Beaninator, Ben, Dickie J, Teddy Hits, Splatter Sex, Joe, Doug Rules 2.0, Fury Air, Nerdy Geek, Skunk Chest, Aquarian, Link Hewitt, Lewis, Rob the King, Red, Katie F, Player B, Psycho T, Dalton C, Avora, Mr. M Gaming, Terrarian Gamer 245, Kyle D, Kyle D, Kyrian W, Raving with Grace, Holotax, Robo Rise 2021, Destructo Man, Max, Spencer TC, and Good, Baron Fox, Zarnoff, Deacon, Jason M, and Whiskey.